Hey Erica, Connor with Wilson Motor. Just wanted to put a face to the name here so you know who you're talking to on Facebook. Um, this is the expedition you were asking about. It's a little dirty, so I can definitely have it washed up here before <laughs> uh, you guys come and look at it. But just want to do a little walk around and kind of show you the different features on it that we have. And I can back out here and kind of just go all the way around so you can see everything about it. Um, honestly, it's a super awesome expedition. It's beautiful, um, and I will show you everything. So let's start up here on the front. You do have your parking sensors on the front. There's four of them. Um, and so as you're pulling into park somewhere, it's going to beep at you if you get too close to anything. So that way you can't really hit the bumpers in front of you or if you're parking next to like a cinder block wall. It's kind of nice. It, it will it'll help you not to hit those or anything like that to damage the front end. Um, personally, I'm a big fan of this grill. I think it's really cool. Just I like the chrome on addition onto it. Um, I like the little holes and all that. It's, like, it's kind of cool. Um, I believe because it's a limited, I, I believe you do have the LED lights, but I can verify that for you there in the headlights. Um, I will verify and make sure that's the case. You have a lot of tread left on all these tires, and I'll show you on the other side of the sun so you can see them a little bit better if you need to. So you don't have to worry about change tires for a long time. Um, I don't remember if... I don't think it is. You just have the lights. You have the zoning lights on, on here. I was thinking you had... There's no camera, so you don't have the 360 view when you're backing out. Um, walking around it so far, I don't see any dings or dents. Um, it is the max, so it is it's a it is the extended kind of like the extended edition. It's a little bit bigger, um, and also being the limited tote or not tote package, but the limited trim package. So you're gonna have a little more bells and whistles with the leather and everything on the inside. Um, here are the parking sensors on your back as well. So same thing as you're backing up. Uh, it's going to beep at you to get too close to anything, so it's pretty hard to back into things. You also have the backup camera here. It's going to help you with uh, seeing everywhere you're going when you're backing up. And then under here, you do have a tow hitch. So if you have anything you want to tow, um, and being an expedition, it does come with the max max tow package. So it's got a pretty big, well, actually not a max tow package, but it's, it's a class four tow hitch. So you can tow really heavy on there with the expedition um there are a few scratches here on the corner looking at that right there kind of here on the side continue walking here on this side a few kind of small scratches there too come show you this tire here in the sun just so you can kind of see it on this side too so you do have a lot of tread left on there. I don't worry about changing those for a while. Um, let me start here in the trunk as well. I'll open up in the back and kind of go through the inside of the vehicle with you. So with it being the, uh, the limited, um, obviously you're gonna have your fancy controls being able to open and close with just a button and it'll do all, all the work for you. There is honestly, there's a lot of space, but it also being the max, uh, you have a lot of space back here with a third row up. However, if for some reason you don't need that third row up, all you gotta do is you can either do it one at a time and you can put half the seats down or you can put them both down and it will auto automatically shoot those headrests down for you too. And it goes down. I don't think it's stuck on the seatbelt there. And then you have a lot more space back here as well. Um, if you do happen to have people in the third row though, uh, if they want to lean back, all they gotta do is push these buttons on this side, those buttons on that side, and they can lean back and go forward as well when the seats are up. Both sides do come with the USB chargers there in the back, so if you have like phones or video games, things like that, the kids need to charge, or people in the back need to charge, they're more than welcome to do that. Um, you have this little net here as well that you can hook onto these guys, right there, to keep things, both sides, to, to keep things kind of from running around in the back. Like I said, to put the seats back up, all you do is push the button there and it will put those up. Uh, this will do the second row as well. So the second row seats will go down. Your middle seat, your left seat, your right seat. So although these ones will not go back up, those ones will drop. So you gotta manually put those ones back up. 
Uh, closing this, we'll do that. I'll come throw the seats up so we can come check out the middle here. You can do it one-handed. <laughs> so it does come with that middle seat there. So it's not captain chair. So you have a middle row and you have the additional six seat. Uh, come on this side here and I will throw this seat up and we'll look at the middle row here. All right, so middle row. Um, obviously the leather seats, like I said. Here are the seats there in the back. Um, with your middle row, you got the heated seats for sure on the the two far seats. Um, I don't think I don't think the middle one's heated, but they can control heated seats there. They can control the climate back here. They have an additional 110 outlet. Um, and then USBs, two USBs on this side for charging. And you also have the 12 volt smoking charging thing down there and a little extra storage space to put a phone or something there if you all are charging. Um, they can control the media on the, like the radio and music and stuff there as well, volume up and down. Um, so they have a lot of control but access back here and you can shut that all off up there if you don't want people playing with it. And let me go up here to the front and show you the front here a little bit too. So we are about 70,000 miles now. Um, let me bump this over here so we can kind of look around on the show at all. Um, you have a lot of controls up here. This left side here is gonna control all the front here, kind of like what in the Explorer you guys have. Um, you can show all the vehicle info if you have like all your tires and speedometers and things like that as well. Um, if you're towing anything, you have a towing screen. Uh, this will show you uh, if you're going off-roading whatever it's going to show you your your vehicle and how you're standing on the ground where you're at um and the additional settings in there as well and then you can set a favorite screen up here to where you can have each of these on one thing if you want only specific things that the entire screen um, over there on the favorite side um <clears throat> this side's going to control all of your volume and your phone options down here uh over here I believe this knocks down those headrests in the back. Yep. So you have a button here. This will this, this will push your third row headrest down if they if they happen to be up. You don't have any in the third row and you want to see more out the window. You can push those down. Obviously, this is gonna be your trunk. All of your headlights here. This moves your uh, parking brake and gas brake forward and back. So you can move those if you happen to be want to sit back further or not. Um, and then here's your parking brake release. Um. Obviously mirrors and windows there. So over here in the middle, you have a couple other options here as well. So this is gonna be downhill assist. So it kind of drops the car into a lower view, a uh, lower gear to help you go downhill. So you're not, you know, running your brakes out. This is gonna be your traction control turns that off. If you're slippery, if you, like I hate this option or I hate like having that on. I'd rather control it myself. I feel like I'm in more control if I'm sliding. Um, obviously your hazard lights, this is lane keeping assist here. So it's gonna help you to um, if you're kind of swerving back and forth, it'll, it'll bump you back into the middle so you don't go over the lines. And this turns off your uh, auto start stop function um, on the vehicle. Is, is your, if you're stopped, it will add a, like a light or somewhere to stop sign. Usually your, your engine will run, turn off if your engine is warm enough. Um, <clears throat> here's your you know, volume controls and things like that as well. Your climate controls, you have uh, up here in the front, you have heated and cooling seats and then you have a heated steering wheel as well. You have a, an additional 12 volt charger there. If you bump this back here, you're gonna be able to have a USB charger, a USB-C charger, and then this actually will charge your phone wirelessly without any cords. Um, obviously this is gonna be your gear shifter knob, so that way you can do it instead of having an actual shifter throttle there. Um, your four wheel drive, and this will turn your parking sensors off on the whole vehicle so you don't have to listen to the beeping if you don't happen to like that. Um, and then here's some additional cup holders there. I believe this is to hold quarters if you have never random quarters. <laughs> Not that anybody ever uses cash anymore. Um, and then you have a really big center console here. You can move this around if you want to move that. And there's an additional 12 volt charger in there. So you can slide that whatever side you want or you take it all the way out. If you have additional pins, you want to put them up in here. You can put them on those sides there so you don't lose pins. 
and then you have cup holders there on top too you can use and then here on the screen just some additional options you have um, so you can go to your audio and you have you're gonna have the uh, AM FM radio you have Sirius XM you can do uh, or you can feel like your phone by either uh, cord or Bluetooth um, you can also control your climate here on the screen um, and so instead of using these buttons down here if you want to do that your phone options over here if you've connected to it um, you have navigation connected into this vehicle so you can be watching a map here and if you don't want to use it on your phone um, there's additional apps you can put onto your phone or you put on here but mostly it's it's if you have compatible apps with your phone um, it will go through here and then on the settings um, you have a lot of different things so obviously you, you have your sound settings of changing the clock your bluetooth and you your, your phone your navigation settings Sirius XM um, if there's additional mobile apps just random general settings you have your uh, Ford Pass connect if you want to hook up your phone to the Ford Pass um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay depending on which phone you have um, and then a couple different options there too. So, uh, there are a ton of options in this vehicle and it is a ton of uh, fun to drive. One of the things I was, I was going to say too, is you also happen to have the sunroof up here on top. Um, here's like sunglass holder, obviously. Um, but it is the panoramic sunroof. So you have, this is the only one that opens, but you have the additional moonroof here for the second row that's there. So it lets in a lot of light and I personally really like the light so if you want to keep that open you can or you can just close that well so this will show you this this is the only part that opens here and it goes right back to about there um and then you can close it again and it will close up and then if you don't want the additional light you can close the actual roof here and it will make the whole vehicle a little bit darker and so you don't have to deal with additional sun on the top if it's hot in the summer. But like I said, I personally like the light, so I would do that. Anyways, that is the vehicle for you. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out. If this is something you guys would love to come and check out and take it for a test drive, let me know. Um, you got my, my Facebook there, and I'll shoot you my number as well so you can give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks, Erica. All right.